Yeah. We moving, we moving, we moving, we moving. We moving. Let's go. Fuck! 
the National Independence Party, brought to you by the Ministry of House and the Local Government, in collaboration with the National Independence Committee. We are in the Denry North. I hope you at home enjoying this. Certainly we are really enjoying the young children, the future of St. Lucia. They are enjoying the celebration of the 44th anniversary of independence. The National Independence Battle Relay is the brainchild of the Honorable Richard Frederick, his Permanent Secretary, Dr. Kadilili Ambrose, Deputy Permanent Secretary, Solon Charles Belize, and the hardworking team at the Ministry of Housing and Local Government. The aim of this National Independence Battle is to bring uh, the country together to unify the island as we move devant a sum, one people shaping our destiny. Louder children, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44. around the nation, all those in the diaspora, right now we say 44, all those on the line, let me see you type in 44, children, let me celebrate I gotta hear you, everybody join in, 44, the nation unifies as we say 44, 44, 44, 44, 44,
represent representative the honorable Sean Edward. Let's give him a 44. One, get ready to go. Two, get ready to go. One, two, one, two, three. Let's go. 44. 44, 44, 44, 44, 44, 44. Thank you, children. We so appreciate your presence. At this time, we have a handover. The battle is being handed over to Nine Edwin, and he represents the ever popular Falcos Bar in Richford Denry. The nine Edwin, the man behind the business, is a very young man. This hangout spot located in on the Richfield Highway and provides a modest avenue for re relaxation and refreshment. The good food, in particular managed water, is synonymous with our culinary skills in the valley. Nain is a passionate is passionate about entertainment and community development. He is also an executive member of the Richfield Youth Organization. The Denry North constituency appreciates Falco's bar and all the bars in our community thank you for providing an avenue for recreation celebrating 44 years Let's do it
of Grand Rapids. We say good afternoon, Norita. We have a battle exchange happening here right now. traditional plants like the Latani tree, which is used for making of our local broom terry solution. Bell, as he is affectionately called, represents the interest of small manufacturing sector of the Denry North constituency. We celebrate our businessmen and women in this constituency.
Awesome. an exemplary asset from the cynic and charming community of Grand Ravine. She holds a bachelor degree in business management with a minor in marketing and a master's in business administration from the Monroe College where she obtained the highest honors in Melania has also played an active role in extra 
Global, Director of Young Women Empowerment Group, Foral Femi Femininity, where she nurtures and molds young women with the community become formidable, strong, independent, and conscious. betterment of the community. Accompanying Melania Mombelli are her day one supporters. Her mom, Mrs. Mombelli, her sister, Maquilla Mombelli, her formidable members of the floral femininity, the parents of Femininity members, her grandmother, her aunt, her neighbors. Melania wishes to thank her community. One people with Differences coming together for the greater good of Grand Ravine.
rich spot in history. The Mabia Valley community. We celebrate the many sportsmen and women who represent. Presented the Denry North at the national level as well as those who have represented our country. <laughs>
With the battle in his hand is Dr. Donnie Glasgow, hailing from the community of Tomazo. He is a medical practitioner at the Denry Hospital. Dr. Glasgow is also a motorcycle enthusiast as he serves the Knuckleheads bikers as the president. Donnie is a good example of perfect balance between work and playing. It is important that we remember our healthcare practitioners in Denry North. We love them and are happy to have them celebrating with the, us. The Knuckleheads Bikers was formed in 2019 and comprised of 48 members across St. Lucia. Their mission is to promote safe riding and to act as a motorcycle outfit for all motorcycle riders. They have always been a big part of our independent celebration. Be safe, ride carefully. We love you, bikers. Knuckleheads celebrating 44 years of independence. And of course, this coming Sunday, follow Knuckleheads in Larissus on the Larissus court. You could also get your tickets. $25 gets you on the inside. Let's rev it, knuckleheads. Let's rev it, 758. Representing 44. Rev it. Rev that bike. Rev that bike. Rev that bike. Rev it. Currently have the National Independence Baton and we have Mon Pai in the constituency of the Reno.
National Independence Committee. We say thank you so very much to our riders who have joined us on this journey with the National Independence And is also a registered wife in diabetes management. Nurse Alcindor is presently employed at the, as the principal nursing officer, but because she represents nurses in the Henry region. Her presence is testimony of the love and appreciation shown by the community. The special message to the community is to be irresolute in the fight against chronic non and and her team. We thank you for the service you have provided. We appreciate you and I hope one day soon the Larry Health Center will be recommissioned to alleviate your plight.
the South Indonesia. So the Rich for Combined School currently has the National Independence Battle. And the students are coming together and joining the events with the baton. In the district for combined school has a group of individuals with strength, unity, and determination, which makes them a force to be reckoned with. Their abilities are further recognized upon graduation from the school as they become members of other community and national teams. It is there they put skills or talents amassed from the The Rich Four Combined School football team has been led to victory under the professional leadership coaching of Mr. Lorenzo Damas, who is also a past student of the school, and the physical education teacher, Mr. Benjamin Polio. Through teamwork and unity, they have continued to fight relentlessly to achieve one common goal, the trophy. Let us celebrate our young boys and girls. Let's turn it up, Mr. DJ. Let's turn it up. Yeah. <laughs> 
So sweet, melodies in the heat.
We have a handover that's happening right now. The battle is being handed over to the 1400 bikers bicycle. So we'd like to thank the Richmond Combined School for participating in this leg of the relay as they hand over the battle to Neil Dashiville. Neil Dashiville is the president, president of the 1400 Bikers, which comprises of over 50 members across St. Lucia. Their aim is to bring back awareness of biking as a fun, team-spirited activity and to motivate the youth to take an active pastime as opposed to being active. The bikers make appearances in communities around the island to encourage the youth and to provide entertainment to other biking enthusiasts. We highlight the bikers and their work as a positive impact on the society. We ask that they continue the good work. Thank you, 1400 bikers.
The struggle has since surpassed many hurdles to become a very formidable TVET institution. The success stories from these walls are imprinted on many leading technical vocational organizations and private businesses locally and regionally. Over a decade of toiling, over a decade of changing lives, over a decade of giving second chances, to many, the world thought wouldn't make it. The Grand Riviere Secondary School continues to grow. A household name, a secondary story is still being written.
said Lucia celebrating 44 years. Kuba, awesome. Kuba, awesome. Kuba, awesome. Kuba, awesome. Kuba, awesome. Kuba. to Skelly Junction in the battle from 4 a.m. They are doing this leg to promote healthy lifestyles and exercising irrespective of age. The Denry North constituency council encourages all to emulate the early morning walkers by forming a group or joining them. Let us celebrate the early morning walkers. Let us celebrate the elderly in our community. Valley. Today she is grateful to participate in such a national event and would like to use this opportunity to highlight the importance of physical activity. The Ministry of Health has launched the St. Lucia Moves campaign to have us all get up, move and have healthier lifestyles. Dr. 
Wizards' goal is to help combat the plague of non-communicable diseases which affects St. Lucia and our community. As we celebrate Independence 44, let us celebrate our professionals. Let us say thank you to, the, to this young doctor, Homer Louisa from Grand Rivier. DJ.
happening right there in our popular location for local bread. And we have a handover happening here. Yes, it is. So Sabrina Avril. Sabrina Avril is a nurse from the community of the Arabia. Sabrina started her football career at the age of 10 and developed a passion for the sport. In 2017, she became a national player and played as a center back. Sabrina is a true example of hard work and perseverance. She is relentless in her pursuit to become a professional footballer. She would like to encourage the youth to work hard, keep focused, and pursue their goals. We celebrate this young, resilient female footballer. We celebrate success. We stand with Sabrina.
Big up you on the live right now, watching the live. Hashtag 758. We represent him. Sportsman, a dedicated fire of, as a dedicated fire officer, he dispenses his duty with passion and professionalism. Firemen are special to us as they are exposed to many risks, and this makes the profession one of risk. As we celebrate this year's independence, let us for one moment consider those men and women of the St. Lucia and emergency department. We salute Hushad and the many other officers and the youth in religion in our community. 44 years.
Bridge in the bottom. to all firemen and women from X fireman 218 218 please as of service with the process
to hunt the battle over. I'm joking, I'm joking. To the man, Roy Cleveland. The battle is now being passed on from Mr. Ford to Mr. Clifford. Mr. Lloyd Clifford is a dedicated police officer and businessman who hails from the community of Olio. Mr. Clifford is running this leg of the relay to remind us that the police is very much part of our society, that we need the police to serve and protect our citizens. The dead this passionate appeal to all its citizens to embrace the police by working with them to help maintain a disciplined Denry North and St. Lucia. We, the members of the Mafia Valley community, would like to tell the police that we appreciate what they do for us. Officer Clifford's leg of the relay also seeks to strengthen that relationship between us as a people and the police. Let us celebrate our police officers and the hard work that they do in fighting in this crime sport.
reply that I do not rep ends or postcode. I represent an island, the place that I call home. If you're asking me for my area code, it's 758. If you're asking me the precise geographical location of where I'm from, I'll tell you that my home lies amid the Atlantic Ocean and the Caribbean Sea. 238 square miles of picturesque scenery. She is known as the Helen of the West Indies and shapes every atom of my identity. I am from a land where beauty is not loud or overbearing, but simply striking, exquisite, and luminary from within. Though her soils have been trodden over 14 times, they are no less fertile. They remain enriched through the seeds of multicultural roots from Europeans, African slaves, Arawak Indians, and Caribs too. Yet when I cross new lands, I'm labeled as foreign fruit, for it takes time for others to gain insight as they sit and overlook. My culture, my diversity. So I stand tall at the pit on harness to a strong sense of national identity. And when I'm repeatedly questioned as to why, my home is not regarded as the place in which I reside. In my justification, I can only reply that home is where the heart lies. I am from a land where knowledge is wealth, a place of prosperity and fidelity. Whether this is the, the National Independence Battle, in really, brought skin, to you by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government in collaboration with the National Independence in Committee. I come from a place independent. If you're wondering where we are, we're currently in the Bandland. Long before We're in uh, Denry North. Have sweat to fertilize soils for their We're journeying uh, with the National Independence Battle. Our destination, Castries Southeast, this I evening. Come from an island of balance, where among the hard labor, we still find the chance to embrace the sublime around us. It has been an amazing day in Denry. Yet when the weekend arrives or it's Vaval time, it has been a party, a celebration of independence. And at this time, I believe we and have a handover. No mistake that my people, we know how to have fun. Because when time comes, it's pure wine. And we have and Sergeant fun. Lloyd Clifford. Versatile nation. About to hand over our national independence battle to the man himself, From a young age, our parliamentary representative. The Honorable Sean Edward. Manners and decorum. And so it breaks it my heart. So it's an exciting it time. me to know that people choose to bring ill publicity to a place that I call home. It's an exciting time as we have seen the Honorable Minister journey through the whole constituency with us today and we're excited that he takes the battle now so his people his constituents those persons that have journeyed with us through the day they now join in their parliamentary representative in the final leg this afternoon So persons are just joining in to do the final leg with the Honorable Sean Edward. And we have the exchange happening now. Acting Sergeant Clifford hands the baton to the Honorable Sean Edward. His constituents, just put your hands together and celebrate.
Your parliamentary representative will now lead us in the final leg of the battle, really, as a journey through the rain off. Let's go, driver, give us something nice so that the persons with him, his constituents, will enjoy. Honourable John Edward is the Minister of Education, Sustainable Development, Innovation, Science and Technology and the Parliament, Parliamentary Representative for Den Reno. He was first elect elected to Honourable Sean Edward was first elected to Parliament in November 2011 and has since been, been re-elected twice. He is our free start general. He served our community as a teacher at the Olio Combined School and the Clinton Mason Memorial Secondary School before entering in elective politics. He was also an avid sportsman and youth administrator serving his community and Youth and Sports Council as President. Mr. Edward was also a national and regional cricketer having represented St. Lucia and the Windward Islands as a junior cricketer. His deeply rooted passion for community and country is what drives his commitment towards the development of the Denry North constituency. We love you, Freestar General. We appreciate what you are doing for Denry Love. Your leg to the top of the battling signifies unity across political boundaries. As you will be handing over this battle to your colleague, Honorable Joachim Henry of Castries Southeast. Happy 44th to you, Denry North and St. Lucia. Join the celebrations as we participate and move devant us some one people shaping our destiny. DJ, let's turn up the final leg. Come in, Mr. DJ. Let's go to the top, DJ. I'll go to the top, DJ. 
It was something on the DJ. Minister, before he hands over the battle, I must say, Denry North, you really have done well today. Really enjoyed uh, my time in Denry North. It was very warm. It was very celebratory. It was an amazing time. This is the National Independence Battle, really, brought to you by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government in collaboration with the National Independence Committee. And we are journeying with the National Independence Battle around the island. People of Denry North, this is your moment. Come on, the people of Denry North, I want to see your flag. Put your flags up! 
One, we're ready to jump. Two, we're ready to jump. One, two.
by the Ministry of Houses and Local Governments in collaboration with the National Independence Committee. Today you would have seen an amazing journey. We started off in Denry South, we entered Denry North, and we are here at the top of the banding with Honorable Sean Edwards with the National Independence Battle. Honorable Minister drew his line and asked the Honorable Joachim Henry to allow him his moment with his battle still. So Minister is just identifying his line right here. So we'd like to welcome as well Castri Southeast. And of course, I say thank you to the amazing time I just had in Denry North. The people of Denry North. So at this time, as we end the journey in uh, Denry North, I'd like to invite the parliamentary representative, Honorable Sean Edwards, to just share some closing remarks. Thank you very much, Ms. Steele. I think today was an amazing day, as you said. Um, I did promise when we took the battle from Denry South that we would do our best to ensure that the standards that had already been set by other constituencies would not have been dropped. I think the enthusiasm generated in Denry North today was particularly impressive. What we saw from the students from our various schools, I think, surpassed everything you would have seen elsewhere. And it is our sincere hope and belief that when Castri Southeast takes the battle from us this afternoon, they will be able to build on the momentum that was created in Denry North. I want to take the opportunity to thank my constituents, the constituency council, the workers, the schools, the principals, parents, and even the, the, just the constituents who lined up the route to, to lend support to the event. I think today we had a good day in Denry North, and I'm extremely proud of my people in the manner in which they came out and, and supported this event. The bikers must not be forgotten. Um, the police played their part, and of course, I must place on the record my gratitude to the Ministry of Housing and Local Government for spearheading this particular effort in the national interest. I would have said in Chuzel, um, whilst I witnessed that leg, that this has grown to become an event that, that puts St. Lucia on the map. And I suspect it won't be long before other countries in the Eastern Caribbean begin to emulate this and make it a staple on their national calendar. You in particular, Ms. Steele, the Permanent Secretary and the line staff must be commended. I know as ministers, we formulate policy, but you are the ones who give expression to the policy and you've done well. So congratulations and I wish Castries Office the very best as they take the battle and we, we move forward to the Assam, of course, for our country. Let's have free chairs for Denry North. Hey, hey. Denry North, let's wake up the birds in the trees. We can do better than that. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. And of course, we must give some energy to our brothers and sisters on the other side with free chairs. Hey, hey. That is for Castries Office. Hey, hey. Hey, hey. I want to wish the Honorable Joachim Henry all the best with his constituents as they take the battle forward in observance of our independence. Thank you very much and let's have a wonderful evening everybody. So right now, as I indicated, the Honorable Sean Edward has the battle. Honorable Minister, I invite you now to remove the flag signifying the end of the journey in your constituency and allowing it now to form part of the base of the national independence battle. At this time, the Honorable Joachim Henry now holds the flag signifying the start of his journey in his constituency. I now invite him to please place your flag now at, in the battle, at the head of the battle. <laughs> Honorable Sean Edwards refused for the minister to get it in. There you go. <laughs> so at this time, I ask the Honorable Sean Edwards to hand the battle to the Honorable Joachim Henry, parliamentary representative for Castro Southeast. And again, a perfect signif he says signify. Together, unity, and these are neighboring constituents.
Excellencies, and how good it is to see brethren together. So at this time, I'd like to invite the Honorable Joachim Henry to just say some remarks. Thank you very much. <laughs> Thank you, Henry. Let me say congratulations to Henry for climbing that part of the hill. We have the easiest part. We are going down into the valley to celebrate with our people. This signifies that we are together. This symbolizes that we will hold our flag way up high in every nook and cranny in St. Lucia. And all our children, all adults, everyone is included in celebrating our 44th independence. Well done, Ministry of Housing and Local Government. Well done, Comrade Sean. Duvah Assam! Thank you so very much, Honorable Joachim Henry. So at this time, once again, I say thank you so very much, ministers. Of course, the nation is looking to you for direction, and we love to see when you'll come together and do such events of this nature. I'd like to thank everyone who joined in with the National Independence Battle today, then resolved, then ran off. And at this time, I say tomorrow, Cast Resolve is, is your time. Tomorrow is your time. So the Honorable Minister is already enjoying his battle. Cast Resolve is tomorrow from 9 a.m. We kick off. Tomorrow is your time. Ready. You're ready. I love to hear that. This is the National Independence Battle, really, brought to you by the Ministry of Housing and Local Government in collaboration with the National Independence Committee. It has been an amazing day, St. Lucia, and we thank you for viewing, and we will see you tomorrow, bright and early, 9 a.m., Castry South East, we will be with you. Thank you so much, St. Lucia.